Angela. And I will say it wasn't fully planned that Angela's theme and my speech are so well connected, but it's been a nice tee up to what I'm going to talk about today. I want to start with a little bit of audience participation. Um, just simply raise your hand and ask four questions. Who has set a New Year's resolution for 2021? Raise your hand. Okay, put your hands down. Who has kept the resolution so far? Okay, put your hands down. Now, who proudly has broken the resolution? Don't be ashamed. Raise them up. Yes. Thanks, Angela. Okay. Last question. Who thinks they'll break their resolution before the year is out? Be honest. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And here we are. New Year's resolution. Why do we do this every year to ourselves? Today, we're gonna to talk about a tendency that we all have that will help us set better resolutions or goals or commitments. Like I said in my intro, we're not gonna talk about smart goals and habit setting. We've talked about that. It's not working for resolutions. We need to take a different approach. And before we get there, I wanna take a minute though and take a step back and really talk about the word resolution. The Oxford Language Dictionary defines the word resolution as a firm decision to do or not do something. A firm decision to do or not do something. To me, that definition doesn't sound like a goal. And we often set up our resolutions as if they are goals. That definition to me sounds more like the definition of a rule deciding to or not do something. And this is actually really good news for us because as a society, we're good with rules. We follow rules all day long. There's a quote by Jim Collins who wrote Good to Great that runs through my head a lot. It's one of those like, once you hear it, you can't get it out of your head. And here's the quote. The purpose of bureaucracy or rules and laws, the purpose of bureaucracy is to compensate for incompetence and lack of discipline. Simply or said, where we lack discipline, we need rules. Doesn't that sound very aligned with the idea of a resolution for the new year? We're setting these things up because we've lacked discipline. So let's think about them not as goals, but let's think about them as rules. No eating after 8 p.m., no carbs on Tuesday, no Starbucks runs. The trouble that we run into though is we're not as apt to uphold personal rules as we are societal rules. And we can get into a lot of reasons why that is, but we're pretty good at obeying traffic laws and not killing our neighbors. So why is it that we can't uphold personal and individual rules? I don't so much care today about the why. I wanna give you insight on the how you can do this different and better in the new year. And this brings me to Gretchen Rubin. Gretchen Rubin wrote a book called The Four Tendencies. And you maybe have heard of Gretchen Rubin because she wrote The Happiness Project, which she got a lot of public notice for. And she writes a lot on human behavior and change. But her book, The Four Tendencies, talks about how each of us has a tendency toward expectations or rules. And most people fall into one of these four tendencies. And it's my belief that if you have a better understanding of what your tendency is towards expectations, you will be more successful in accomplishing your resolution or your goals or your habits. It's amazing how many areas of life this concept can touch. So I'm gonna walk through the four tendencies. This is a really simple thing to understand. I want you to think as I'm walking you through the four tendencies, what's familiar here for you? The first one is called the upholder. Upholders do exactly that. They uphold internal and external expectations of them without any trouble. These are the people that don't break their New Year's resolutions, that do everything they say they're going to do. This is the kid in class that raised their hand and said, I'm sorry, teacher, but you said we were going to have a quiz today. Fortunately, upholders, not very many of us. I am an upholder. The second tendency is questioners. 
questioners on the surface look a lot like an upholder because they do really well with external rules and external expectations and internal rules and expectations. But they first have to and continue to prove to themselves why this matters. The rule, the expectation needs to pass their judgment or else they will reject it. The third type are rebels. Rebels reject expectations and rules, both internal and external. They resist control. You ask a rebel to do something and they will want to and likely do the exact opposite. The fourth tendency is the obligers. This is what most people in our society are. Obligers will accommodate external expectations and external rules, but really struggle with internal expectations and internal rules. These are the people that need accountability buddies. What's sounding familiar here? Upholder, questioner, rebel, obliger. Still a little, little unclear? Let's run through an example of a New Year's resolution. I'm going to keep it really simple. Maybe your resolution is to start running more. I don't know why anybody would have this resolution, but let's say that's what it is. My upholders, you've checked out of this conversation. You're like, I got this. I've already got my run in for today. Questioners, you need the explanation as to why it matters if you run. And you need to spend some time really proving to yourself that that is important for you. And then come back to that when you feel yourself waning. Rebels, okay, there's hope for rebels, but your road is hard and long from my perspective. So I'm gonna give you some resources, rebels, how you too can keep your running habit. And I oblige her. You need a running group. You need a coach, you need a buddy, you need external, you need an external source. You will fail if you do not have external accountability. So just give it up, find a buddy. Pro tip, find a polder. They won't let you down. I'm hoping something here is sounding familiar. I would encourage everybody, and I'm seeing it pop up in the chat, the link to where you can take the quiz to understand your tendency. Go to GretchenRubin.com. If you're liking this concept, get her book, The Four Tendencies, or listen to a podcast where she's talked about it. Take the quiz. She's going to give you some great tips. Rebels, she's got amazing tips for how you two can uphold your rules from society and internally and stop butting up against yourself. But she's got great tips for everyone. She actually even has an app called The Better App where there's a whole community of people you can connect with that maybe have a similar tendency to you and how they've been successful. I think once you get into this, you will be surprised at how many different things this concept can touch in your life and how it may be just the catalyst that's been missing to actually help you be successful with goals and resolutions. So you have permission today from me to break your resolution, to go find your tendency and set new resolutions based on that tendency. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. I love that. You're so awesome. 